it's here. It has been in transit for, I don't know, about a week now. I have come home from work. I have not opened this box. I am desperate to open this box. Before I open this box, I'm gonna tell you what all the fuss is about. So the box I have before me is in fact, or should be with any look, a Thai constellation monster, which is basically a true variegated Monstera. Now, I'll explain very briefly how we got to this point. So I've actually wanted a Monstera for actually as long as I've had plants, which is a long time. I always felt like, I, I have always wanted a Monstera, but I always felt like, you know what, I'm not gonna own one unless it's variegated. I don't want a normal one. You get them everywhere. I'm not interested. I want a really, really good one. So, so the thing I understand about Monsteras is there are kind of, I think there's two types of variegated Monstera from what I've read. There is a Monstera Albo Borzigiana or Borzigiana. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I will put the name on the screen right now, which is still a Monstera, only it grows the way it grows it vines and the leaves can't get like huge, if that makes sense. Like it's not, it's a Monstera, but it's not what's considered a true Monstera. Um, they are very good, they're very beautiful, and I do actually want one, but I thought I'd go a step further and get the really rare one, which is the Thai Constellation Monstera, which is still variegated, but these ones get, like, huge. Like, their leaves can be, like, two foot long. Like, these are the big, big Monstera. So I don't want to keep you too long, I just thought I'd tell you what that is. Now, technically, I may not be able to tell the difference if this is indeed not a Thai constellation monster. They have like a telltale sign on them apart from their growth pattern. They have kind of like a ripple on the back of their like stems where the, the leaf starts, but that's only visible on monster that are a little bit more mature. So technically I have no way of knowing if this is a Thai constellation monster. But any experts out there watching, I'm sure you will tell me anyway in the comments. So without further ado, I don't want to keep anybody any longer. I'm just going to get into it. I only have scissors. I do have a craft knife, but I think it's upstairs. And I'm not moving because I'm mic'd up and I've waited long enough. So I'm just going to start cutting. It's come in a cardboard box. It feels like there's nothing in the box because obviously it is just a cutting. So the box has like no weight to it at all. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to so, so carefully just cut through this. I'm just going to have to cut through the top, I think. Sorry, this is just like everything is sliding around. I'm just going to hold it in midair because it's light enough. I can see a plastic bag inside. That's all I can see so far. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's straight on the top. I can tell you that right now. I've lifted these two off and I can just see the plant and it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God. Oh, we've got a leaf casualty right here, but it's very, very small. It's fine, it's fine. It's like the tiniest leaf. I'm, I'm okay with that. And here it is, here it is. My Thai constellation Monstera cutting. It's in pretty good shape, to be honest. There's a little bit of fracturing on the leaf. Nothing that's, you know, not gonna survive. It actually has a new leaf on the way. The stems are like super variegated. Oh, this is this has gone well. Um, it does appear to me to be a true Thai constellation Monstera because of the growth pattern here. It doesn't look like it's going to vine. I mean, you guys can obviously tell me what you think. I'm gonna show you as close as I can to the camera what this looks like. Hopefully it's not gonna try and focus on my face too hard, but there's one leaf. There is another leaf. And here, if you should be able to see, we have a leaf on the way. And the roots are in here. It's rooted in some kind of moss. I can't remember the name of the moss, but I think it's a popular thing to, uh, to root with. That is the state of the root. I think that's, oh, please focus. The I think that's pretty decent for a root, to be honest with you. I think that's, I think that's a success. I'm very, very happy with this. Shall we plant it up? I think we should plant it up. Oh, oh, dude, look at this. That is a good, good, good root. Right, soil, let's talk soil. I have the same potting mix I used the other day on repotting the house plants. I think it's gonna be fine, but just in case, I mentioned in my last video that I was saving some cactus mix just for this. I am going to mix a little bit of cactus mix um, in with this rather than perlite, just because why not? See, okay, so there's a con of this and that's that I can't see the ratio of cactus mix to the other stuff. Ooh. I'm 
take my cutting. Oh, it's not, that's not actually a cutting. I say that's a cutting, that's not a cutting. I'll just, I'll stop myself right there. That's actually like a baby plant, so. Is it just me or does the pot seem a little bit big for the plant? I don't know. I mean, it's a monster. I, I'm pretty sure generally they grow quite quickly, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried about it. But I don't know. Uh, if it turns out, by the way, by the time you see this video, it's likely that I will put this video up 24 hours after I've filmed it, just because I have a lot to do tonight and I'm not going to have time to edit this. If you see me do something here that is like, oh my God, don't do that. You're going to kill the plant. Please tell me. <laughs> and uh, comment down below and um, I will change my ways immediately and change whatever it is I've done that could possibly kill this thing because it's cost me a pretty penny, I'm not going to lie. The only other things I use cactus mix for, by the way, if you're thinking, why is she using cactus mix? I use it to help soil drain. Um, my alocasia actually use it. I've done like 50% uh, cactus mix, 50% potting soil, but I think next time around, being that you know one of my allocations in a terracotta pot, I probably wouldn't do that again. If I'm honest, I would use maybe three quarters potting mix and a quarter cactus mix. I'm not really sure. she is she he i don't know i think i'm gonna name it i don't know what i'm gonna name it i haven't decided if it's male or female maybe it should be a she because it's clearly gonna be a bit of a queen i don't know suggestions in the comments below uh, also if you own one of these and you have care tips please let me know literally just just fill my mind with information about this plant because honestly this is my first monster and scared doesn't really come close like i don't even know i think i'm gonna water this you know but I'm going to water it really, really lightly. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much. Um, just a really little, a little sprinkling of water, and see how it gets on. Uh, I'm going to give it plenty of light. It's going to sit in front of my huge window, so it should be fine. So that is it for this video. Um, I will, of course, keep everybody updated on this thing, probably on a weekly basis. It's probably going to be all over my Instagram because it's so gorgeous. I'm so happy. I would totally buy from this seller again. I would also love to collect a Monstera Albo Borzigiana or whatever you want to call it, the dwarf version that's variegated. I want to uh, collect that too. So if you are doing cuttings of that plant or small versions of that plant, let me know. I may be interested in purchasing it from you. Yeah. Thank you very, very much for taking the time to unbox this beautiful plant with me. I feel very, very blessed to have this because I'm told it is very, very rare. Pray for me and my plant. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.